back for another weekly vlog. Today, I'll talk about the week 38. So my due days is in about two more weeks. So I'm gonna talk about um, some common things in week 38 and uh, what's gonna happen in week 39 or get to the 40. What's the plan um, we're gonna do about uh, get things going. Jump into week 38, uh, what to expect, what I'm experiencing. I won't talk about the app I have been using to track my pregnancy, which is called a baby center or the bump. Um, these two apps I usually uh, use uh, doing my weekly basis just to kind of have a little bit idea about the, the baby's development and whatnot. So according to the baby center, uh, your baby is at 38 weeks. It's about six, eight pounds and 19 and a half inches. So it's about the length of a leak. So at this time, baby is practicing how to grasp and uh, which, and uh, a little bit idea how is your baby developing in the womb um, according to that. Okay, so let's move into how am I doing at a week 38. Um, symptom wise, if you watch my week 37, symptom wise nothing hasn't really changed much. I'm still experiencing the same type of symptoms um, except the water retention is getting a little bit worse. Um, so about 2-3 days, uh, I do have a home uh, massage lady coming in so she's going to help me with home water retention but most likely you'll come back but it just, just helped me to get a little better mobility around. Okay, so what's gonna happen um, in about two weeks? So what we do is, uh, I dis we have a discussion with my doctors by the week 39, we'll do what we'll call a cervical membrane sweep, which is kind of stimulating the labor a bit. Um, it, it works, but so if nothing happens um, after the cervical membrane sweep, I I will have another appointment with my doctor on the 13th or 14th, which is about five days after that appointment. Then uh, just to have examination to check, uh, am I dilating, am I not dilating? Um, then we can decide that if we were gonna have inductions uh, neither on that 13th or 14th, or on the 16th, which is uh, by the time she will be about 40 weeks. So. If she likes or not, uh, 16 is the deadline so before she comes out. Um, so yeah, th that's the plan we have for with our doctors, and um, hopefully things can start getting along uh, after 39 weeks. So far, I'm not really feeling any sign of labor or anything. Um, Breast and hicks, not really. I'm not really feeling any of them. Uh, I just feel it really heavy. Uh, the the sacrum, your pubic bones are just getting. A little more painful and it's become a little bit more difficult sleeping at night but other than that everything's the same so there's really no sign of labor so I guess we're just gonna wait for another week then uh, which is fine I'm perfectly fine if she come out after you know, 39 to before 40 weeks um, so I'm okay with that okay so how so do I feel sad that the pregnancy is coming to the end um, no, <laughs> I think at the point I'm really looking forward to meet my daughter, so I'm quite excited about that. So, I, if you know me, I'm an extremely impatient person, so um, I hope this can come a little bit faster than that. But you can really not push nature anyway, so we'll just wait for one more week then. Uh, any anxiety towards birthing? I have to say I did have, I did have fear, anxieties about giving birth probably during my first trimester and halfway through the second trimester. But what I noticed is more research and more thing I read about it, less fear and anxiety I feel about it. Because I think sometimes we do look 
at the worst case scenario. But if you look at the statistics, the majority of pregnancy turned out to be fine. So, you know, try to educate yourself, um, doing the, your research for your own. And uh, that will definitely help you to reduce that fear and anxiety of the uncertainty, which is for, I, this is my first time being a mom. I mean, for the viewers out there, for the YouTube viewers out there, if it's your first time being a mom, um, it will be a good idea just to look up um, or the birth experience. YouTube is fantastic. There's many YouTubers share about the delivery and birth story. So you kind of have a like first hand to what to expect. But I do understand, you know, um, medical technology, how much we have, have come for, uh, for and understanding better physiology of beginning birth. We have come a long way. And so most of pregnancy turned out to be okay. So don't worry, just hang in there. Things will be okay. Uh, so that kind of helps me with removing uh, my nervous and anxieties. So, well, thank you for tuning in for this week. I hope you like what you see. If you like what I'm doing, I do. I'm trying my best to do my weekly vlog about my pregnancy, uh, soon gave birth, and after she's here, I don't know. I try my best to do the weekly vlog as well. Um, so, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next week. Then, thank you for tuning in.